Holden LaCroix. Cloudy day across the region thanks to an area of low pressure that passed to our south. We kind of had an idea that this was going to break apart as it moved inland, and that's what we saw. Overcast skies, however, we had a, a little bit of dry air kind of infiltrating around that area of low pressure, and that kind of broke up some of the cloud cover, including Florence right now. We actually have a nice sunset. Uh, even across areas of Eugene, we were able to see a little bit of sunshine this morning, but for the most part, we still are dealing with this area of low pressure. It's just been weakened a lot, and you can see the dry air kind of infiltrating around the area of low pressure indicated by this shade of yellow right here. That dry air kind of gets right into the center of the area of low pressure and kind of breaks apart the cloud cover and the precipitation. And that's kind of what we're seeing across the region. You can see even down across portions of the north state of California, you can see scattered at best rainfall. So this is a very weak storm system. However, as we head towards Tuesday and Wednesday, we're tracking a much more potent one that also has some very cold air across the region, which will drop temperatures back down overnight temperatures at least into the 40s. You can see a few spot showers across the region from this area of low pressure, and that's going to be the trend once again as we head into the day tomorrow. We can't rule out a, a stray shower, patchy drizzle early in the morning into the midday hours, but for the most part, it's probably going to be around 90% dry throughout the day on Monday, very similar to what we had today. That will change though as we head into Tuesday and you can see these changes starting to make their way in. I think this model is a little optimistic with the cloud breakage tomorrow. I would expect mostly cloudy skies all the way through about probably six, seven o'clock at night, maybe a few sun breaks out there, but you can see the cloud cover and the rain starting to move back in. This is on Tuesday and this storm system is going to move in and also bring in some very cold air, which you can see the snow levels dropping along the spine of the Cascades and you can see how low they actually get as we head into the day on Wednesday. Wednesday. So Tuesday, even across the passes, is mainly going to be a rain event, but eventually this colder air is going to start moving in, and as this cold air moves in, that's going to drop the snow levels. Right now, it's focused across portions of central Canada, but as we head towards Monday and Tuesday, you can see it infiltrating across much of the Pacific Northwest. A positively tilted trough, this is when it kind of leans toward the left a little bit, that indicates an intensifying low pressure system and some very cold air. Whenever you have this set up, we tend to get a lot of tropical moisture across the region and we have the cold air in place so that'll likely produce some significant mountain snow but also some cold temperatures for the valleys you can see eugene and corvallis by next weekend we're going to be stuck in the 40s now i will say once this storm system passes we actually get relatively dry into next weekend so it's going to be a dry cold mostly sunny skies by next saturday high temperatures are going to struggle to get out of the 40s in the valley and you can see when this air mass moves in snow levels plummet as we head to tuesday wednesday down to around 4,000 feet. So we're obviously going to be tracking this a lot closer as we head into next week. Speaking of which, you can see the highs even for the coast in the 50s and even Coos Bay around 35 degrees as we head toward next Saturday morning. The Umqua Basin fog and low-level clouds tomorrow. Can't rule out a stray shower, but the real rain, that's going to come Tuesday into Wednesday, mostly cloudy Thursday, and then again tracking some showers by Friday. You can see the cold air moving in. We're 48 on Monday up across the passes. 32 for high temperature. Those overnight lows are going to be in the teens. Ooh. And across the Willamette Valley, you can see fog, patchy drizzle again tomorrow. Very similar to what we had today, but the real cold starts to settle in. This low pressure is getting its act together, and we are expecting rain, cooler temperatures, and finally, some mountain snow returning. So going to need a jacket at least Tuesday, Wednesday. Yes, sir. Probably the winter jacket by even next weekend. The sun's going to be out, but it's going to be chilly. All right, Holden, thank you. Of course. Appreciate that tip, Holden. A new top 25.